this is Conquering Zeros, and this is the build for Conquering Zeros for the November 1st Thursday event. We still have the ability to cycle through all the crystals that you have unlocked over here on the left. And then you can go into the upgrades and upgrade certain things if you have money. And then what things we don't have right now is settings and the journal. But if you press play, you are able to pick a crystal. But in the first run of the game, you'll be forced to pick slap and you'll be put directly into the game with that. As you move into the game, you can see that there's a ton of art assets around, making the world really dynamic. And then, as you kill the enemies, they drop these little diamonds. And when you pick one up, then you go into the level up menu, where you get to buff your different crystals. So if you do range, you can see the increase of range. The gray is the original, and then the white is the new. The damage, you'll be able to see the original damage and then the buff damage. And then this is just another ranged. So I'm going to increase the damage to 4.24. And then I'm just going around killing enemies, trying to pick up that experience to level up my character. And as I kill more enemies, the enemies will also get harder to kill and more enemies will spawn. And then eventually once I kill enough enemies, there will be a mini boss that spawns. Which you can see over here on the left side of the screen. Oh, and I just leveled up. I'm going to increase it from 4.24 to 4.5. So you can see this boss taking damage, and when I kill him, he drops a crystal that I get to pick up. If I pick it up, it'll bring me into that same menu, and it is a mine dropper. So if I put that into my cluster, then it will start dropping mines behind it, which helps to cull the enemies that are chasing after me. Another thing you might notice when you kill an enemy is these particle effects, these white balls that leave the enemies. If I follow them, they will take me to the boss pillar, where you can see that I have more kills than I need. And if I press E, then it will spawn the boss, and it will trigger that boss fight. So... If I fight the boss, then I'll have to dodge his attacks. And once you kill the boss, then you'll be taken straight back to the main menu screen so that the next playtester is able to play the game.